Hi guys, this video is talk about open authentications and local authentications of IAM version 11.0. First of all, we talk about open authentications. This kind of authentications identify users according to source IP address, MAC address, or computer name. Benefit of these authentications is fast because user can access to internet without entering any username and password. Second method, password-based authentication. This kind of authentications method will request user for username and password. After user enter the correct username and password, device will check username and password on the local database. If data not match in local database, then we will go to external server to do matching. As you can see from the diagram in the slide. This is the scenario of demo I am going to show later. As you see, user A assigned with IP address 192.168.19.70 and configure as open authentications method. Whereas, user B assigned with IP address 192.168.19.80 and configure with password based authentication. You can see the topology in the right hand side of the screen. Here are the steps to configure open authentications. First, create an open authentications policy. Second, access to internet for testing. Lastly, check the status of online user list. Now, let's move on to the web UI of IAM 11.0 and I will show you how to configure an authentication policy based on the open authentications method. First, you go add a new authentication policy. We assign a name to it, open authentication. Object. So now I'm doing the demo on how to block the specific IP. Zero as the diagram shows this now. Beside, you can also configure to block within a subnet groups like this but now we only demo on one so we can erase this one and make sure this one as the same as the demo PC so this two is same okay so right move on to the next choose open authentications and here are the three options you can choose take IP address, MAC address, or host name as the username. So we take the first one and commit. Okay, here's create. So now move on to the testing part, which is the testing on online. So test on the sample.com. Okay, it's work. So we close it. Then go to online user list. See whether the IP is within the online user list. Yes, it's here. And the authentication method is open authentication. Next, password based authentications. The very first one you need to do is create a new user in the local database. Second, create an open authentications policy. Third, access to internet for the testing purpose. And lastly, check the status in the online user list. Before I start to configure the password-based authentications, I would like to show you all the topology. First, user B will create the account at the local database and the external data center will assign with the same username and password, Keith Sangfo. Because I will show you how to configure and do a testing later on. Okay, let me be free describe how it works. At first, when user enter the username and password, and the device will check on the local database to do the matching. If the account match with the local database account, then the user can proceed to the access to internet. If the account is not in the local database, then we'll do the second level of checking, which go to the external data center to do the matching. Go to the web UI. 
user local user as I say just now the account key sent for already created and we now configure authentications policy add a new policy with assign a name same as the previous one you can authenticate the user within the subnet but now we only doing the demo on a specific IP so we just enter a one specific IP address and measure same with the demo IP address Next. Take the password base and test ID because now we currently run on the server. You might have other server as well. After we configure the password authentications, we can do the testing on it with access to internet. This is the authentication page. Now we key in the username and the password. Info. You will probably want to make sure you guys have fully logged in. Yes, we can access to the internet now. So we cancel the page and go to the online user list to check whether the IP is within the username user list yeah here you are the usernames show the key and now we're doing another testing we try to delete the local user database user the account key and we delete it okay which means now local database don't have the account of Keith anymore. So now we go and access the internet again. Same, we enter the key and password sample. Yeah, we're able to log in again because this account is created in the external data center as well. Therefore, we are able to log in and access to internet. Same thing, the online user list will show you the username and the authentication method. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.